So the first thing is to make the head and you start with a ball of flesh coloured Mexican paste or gum paste. Make sure it's nice and smooth. Uh, bring it forward to a little point. Make sure there's no cracks and creases on it. Put the point into the nose, press firmly and push in really hard with the end of your rolling pin. Put a sugar candy stick on the back. Bring the paste around and pull it out. That gives you all the detail on the face. And then cut off the spare paste around the neck. And you can then leave that to dry. You need to then make two little hands in um, either by hand or in the multi-mould. I put two little pieces of paste in to the hand piece, press in really firmly with the Dresden tool and your finger. Make sure it's lower than the height of the mould and the mould's flexible so you can pull it out and just curve the fingers over to let them dry. Put them to one side. So the next thing is to paint the eyes. Easiest thing is to paint them asleep. So you paint a single line along following the line that's on the mould already. And also a couple of little eyebrows. And paint those in brown rather than black. The body is the next thing. You get a ball of paste about twice the size of the head and roll it into an oval shape. I'm going to stand that up. Then the legs, I'm going to make big fat boots and that's going to be black sugar paste. Let's put that to one side for a minute. Roll one end of the legs so that you get a, a drumstick shape. Pinch and push the, the rounded end to get a little boot shape. You can mark around the edge of the boots to get the sole. If you press Press in with a knife to make the little sole. Do that again. Pinch and pull. Go around the edge. Press in for the heel and press the knife in to make little ridges in for the boots for the feet. Then you can stick them onto your body. So the next thing is to roll out some white sugar paste for the fluffy pieces on the, on the body. Cut into strips. So press with a texturing. I'm using a scouring pad. Lift it off the board and put a piece round for the waist. And cut off the, the join. Use 
one piece the size of the head, roll it red. into a little sausage shape and again you can use the texturing and put it onto the ends of the sleeves push it together over the edge, cut over the join and make a hole in each end for the hand to go push the hand in and Stick that on top of your body and rest the hands over the feet and a piece of red paste about the same size as the head. Make it into a cone shape. hollow out the rounded end so that it's big enough to fit over the back of the head, hiding the joins. Dampen the inside of it with water Press that into place and then put the, the baby head in position. So for the scarf roll another piece of white sugar paste and texture it and cut into one end with cutting wheel or scissors. Dampen around the edge of the face Start with the scarf down one side Bring that around Bring it under the face and over one shoulder Cut it off with scissors and cut into the ends to make a tasseled end. And finally get a, a little tea strain or a sieve and push a little bit of ordinary sugar paste through and dampen the top of the hat, cut the paste off. I use a little palette knife that into position on the top of the 